Hey guys, I'm the Lamp Man from Kirk's Lane Lamp Parts, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to take this tequila bottle and turn it into a beautiful lamp. Um, a good friend of mine gave me this tequila bottle, and uh, in a prior video, I drilled it out with a diamond drill bit, and now we're going to turn it into a lamp. So uh, I've got all the parts laid out here, and um, you can get all these parts from Kirk's Lane Lamp Parts. Um, you can go to online at www.kirkslane.com, and um, Okay, cool. So this is the pipe, and this is a uh, piece of all-thread pipe, 18 IPS, and I cut it with a hacksaw. It's very easy to do, no big deal. And then I got a lamp loader on here and a lock nut and stuff on the bottom, and I already pre-measured this out to make it easier for the video. So we're going to start with the base, which is a nickel-plated solid brass, and then uh, we brushed it with a uh, brushing wheel in the back. We polished it and gave it a satin matte look. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful look to it. So we'll slide that over the pipe. This tequila bottle is um, Class A Azul, and it's um, got a really cool cap that came with it. It had a cork inside, but it fell off when I drilled it out. But uh, it kind of matches the uh, satin nickel face there. take a cord. This is a uh, silver, transparent silver cord. It's an 18 gauge two conductor. Um, Kirksling sells lots of these. And um, it's SBT1, the thinner plastic coating. And I've already taken the liberty of putting this uh, black plastic bushing on the side of the base and that just protects the cord from getting chafed and, and uh, causing a problem. So you gotta go through there and then up the center pipe. We start with the harp bottom. This is the bottom of a harp, and that holds the shade. We're going to put that on next. And then this is the cap for the socket. This is um, this goes on next, and this is a, a locking ring that holds the shell onto the cap. Forget, don't forget to put that on, because it is specific. If you do, don't forget. If you forget to put the ring on, you can't put the socket together, which I've done before. I'm just going to lightly spin this around, tighten it down. Again, not too tight. Lock everything up at the end. Now we're ready to put do the wire on the socket. We're re ready to wire the socket. I'm just going to separate them a little bit more. This socket here is a full range dimmer socket. Um, it's a beautiful socket. It's, um, it's, it's cast solid brass and then it's nickel plated. Here's the shell to it. And then it's a full range dimmer. So it's, it'll allow the, the bulb to be dimmed all the way from very low, you know, off to low to high. It's a really nice socket. All right, so what we need to do with, with any time you wire up a lamp is you need to do what's called a UL knot and that prevents the lamp from being, uh, what the, prevents the wires from being pulled off the screw terminals. If your kid goes running through the living room and kicks the cord of the lamp, it'll pull the whole lamp off and break it, which is not good, but it'll prevent the um, contacts from coming off of the terminals and uh, starting a fire or shocking somebody or something, burning your house down, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you how to do a UL knot. So it's kind of like a pretzel. You just take the one the left side and go around the there and then you take the right side you come around it and then back through the hole and pull them pull them so you pull the knot tight and it has a knot there you don't know, have to just see the knot and that just again allows the uh, prevents the lamp from coming unwired internally All right. I'm gonna slide that down pull that down rolled away on me. All right, so on, on most sockets you have just two screw terminals and uh, you can see one is brass and one is nickel colored. 
the brass one is always the hot one or the positive side. And you know, on your chord set, you'll find that every chord set has, a polarized chord set will have a smooth side and a ribbed side. And the smooth side is your hot side. And um, I forgot to check that before I pushed it down. So the smooth side go, is the hot side, and the, and the hot side goes to the brass screw terminal on the socket. So we're going to follow that and trace it up, and it wraps around in the UL knot. I just want to attach that. Again, the smooth to the brass. Now, if you did it wrong, it still would work, but the problem with doing it, if you wire it wrong, is the screw shell is then hot when you plug it in. The screw shell, where it would be hot rather than the center contact point of the socket. And that's bad for a couple reasons. You could get shocked when you're putting a change in the bulb out, or worse yet, it could start a fire if something were to touch against it. So I got that snug down. I got the UL9 in place. I'm going to snug the UL knot down a little bit. Pull it down. Get it all in place. Pull the extra out. And then we can put the shell on. Hold it all together. I kind of set this up for a right-handed person so that it would be a you could reach up in the lamp with you know underneath and, and turn it on and off. Okay, so that's all good there. Now let's see, ready to um, let's tighten it all up from the bottom. Make sure everything's centered. Make sure your center cap is centered, that the, uh, the bottle or the vase is centered, and then uh, I'm going to get a pair of pliers here to tighten it up on the bottom. side of this cap it has a little set screw right here and that just keeps it from working its way loose. I'm going to tighten that up and it locks it all together. Okay, put them together nicely. We're ready for the, uh, the harp and again I've already measured this harp to be the right size for the shade that we're going to put on. And the shade dictates what harp you're going to use as far as how high do you want the, the shade to sit. Okay, that's good. And I picked out this beautiful uh, square cut corner silk shade that uh, Kirk's Lane sells and it is um, it's a 16 inch bottom diameter and I think it fits really nicely on this lamp. It looks really good on it. And then I have a finial here and a shade riser, both nickel plated. Right. So and it's shade riser, it just, uh, or the riser, it just rise, raises the finial up so you can see it. There's a little bit of a drop down in here. And the finial just holds the, the shade on the lamp. Okay. That's pretty much it. All together, it looks great. You can see there's the front of it. It's ready to go. Thank you for joining me today. See you guys soon.